In this video, the Mars rover Perseverance finds a rock which displays stripes like a zebra, starts a slippery ascent up the Jezero crater rim, and says goodbye to an old friend. Perseverance has just finished exploring Naretva Vallis, an ancient Martian riverbed, and is now beginning a perilous drive up the crater rim. We've added in this Boeing 737 for scale. The true vastness of the climb is intimidating. On SALT 1245, the rover takes this picture, showing our pet rock nicknamed Dwayne, stowed away inside the wheel. However, in this image taken on the very next Martian day, Dwayne is gone. You can see that the terrain in front of the rover is littered with big rocks, which it may have to drive over. Driving over boulders combined with the increasingly steep ascent is probably what led to Dwayne the Rock being ejected. This climb will feature inclines of up to 20 degrees. Both the Curiosity and Opportunity rover have managed inclines of at least 30 degrees, but never on such difficult, slippery sand. After a little drive up the hillside, the rover looks back at Naretva Vallis. This view of the tracks left by Perseverance shows that the sand is becoming quite deep. As the climb gets steeper, something very worrying starts to happen. The sand is becoming deeper and more slippery. On Sol 1253, the rover detects excessive wheel slip and aborts the drive. You can see in the tracks here that the wheels have been slipping due to the non-uniform distribution of sand. Looking back down at Naretva Vallis, you can see that the rover appears to be employing a zigzag pattern of driving. This helps to lessen the incline. Unfortunately, the sand here is so deep and slippery that the zigzag tactic is no longer working. On SAL 1253, the rover only manages to move 10 meters, or about 32 feet. The incline is 17%, about the same as the San Francisco Hills. You can see that the tracks in the sand are deeper than usual, and it seems the rover has reversed and tried to get onto slightly better terrain. This view from the rear Hascam shows the rover's tracks in more detail. Although the ground appears rocky at first, it seems that those small rocks are sitting on very loose sand. However, large rocks underneath may be helping the rover maintain some traction. As Perseverance continues the slow ascent towards a site known as Witch Hazel Hill, you can see the trail stretched out in a zigzag pattern behind it. The team at NASA decides to make a course correction, taking the rover in a more southerly direction for a more favorable incline. On its way up the rim, Perseverance takes a close look at an interesting rock formation. It's given the name Aramida Mesa. The team at NASA orders the rover to perform a quick abrasion, which goes smoothly. After checking that the abrasion bit is free from damage, Perseverance takes a look at its work. This area is rich in carbonated rocks, which are closely linked to habitability. Targets here on the crater rim can give the team valuable insights when compared with rocks from the crater floor. Taking a closer look at the patch, it's mainly light in color with some indication of colored minerals in there. The team at NASA orders the rover to get an even closer look with the Watson camera and then continue up the crater rim. This view from the rear has cam shows that the sand is still deep in some areas, although the small rocks provide some traction. The road ahead looks much the same. Small to medium-sized rocks litter the path. Looking back at Naret Vallis one last time, Perseverance continues the climb up the hillside. The rover is now benefiting from the course correction. The team at NASA has decided to direct the rover in a more southerly direction, meaning an easier gradient. 
It's now dust season on Mars and the rover will periodically be looking out for dust devils. This view of moving dust on Mars is made of data from the European Space Agency, processed by Andrea Luck and Simeon Schmaus. Now that Perseverance is on more shallow, rocky terrain, progress is faster. On Sol 1265, Perseverance moves a whopping 122 meters or 400 feet. Looking back now, we can really see just how steep the climb is. The rover is lucky to be on solid terrain. On its way out of the crater, Perseverance caught this image of an interesting looking rock with a zebra pattern. Just what is this rock doing on Mars? This type of rock is thought to be made by big temperature changes, igneous processes inside the mantle, or in other words, from volcanic activity. We spotted something similar back on Sol 1162 in the Neretva Vallis riverbed. We hypothesized that the rock was likely transported there by the strong river, billions of years ago. However, there's no evidence of ancient water flow on the crater rim. So how do we explain this rock? It's possible the rock has tumbled down the side of the crater rim. We may find lots of these rocks at the top of the crater rim. The more likely explanation, however, is this rock has been transported here, either by a huge impact from an asteroid or a volcanic eruption. It's possible that the rock is much older than anything we've ever seen and was uprooted by the impact that created Jezero Crater itself. It's certainly out of place here, with no similar rocks nearby. Maybe we will learn more about these rocks as we pass over the crater rim. The team at NASA names the rock Freya Castle. As it continues its journey out of the crater, Perseverance gets this photo of the track behind. The tracks are smooth, straight, and not as deep. You can also see the rover was favoring the wheels on its left side, as the trail on the right wheels has gaps, indicating they weren't hitting the surface. The rover is moving at a steady pace now, the terrain ahead looks rocky and smooth, which should make for steady progress in the coming sols. Just what will we find when we cross over the crater rim? We'd like to thank our channel members and Patreon subscribers for your generous support. Join the community today to get your name in the videos, early access to ad-free content, and even a curated set of 4K desktop wallpapers. It really helps us to create more quality content that you enjoy. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps.